All right, so we got this door here in the mobile home. And you know, these have fake wood grain on them. And uh, so we're gonna try a magic eraser, which is a, you know, we use it on pinball machines all the time. We're seeing what it'll do. Donnie ain't used one much. You gotta get on it, Donnie. There you go. Yep, that's getting it. We just put some water on it. We didn't have any kind of, you're supposed to, like alcohol is the best thing to use on it and make it like cut more. But hell, anything will work. It might dole it up a little bit, but it'll be better than having the damn scribbles all over it. Donnie, I, uh, I was talking to somebody the other day. They were under the impression you don't do any of the work. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, you ain't watched enough. The, uh, what y'all don't realize is, dude, I do have people doing some of the work. Yeah. But it's my damn head doing it all. <laughs> yep. He's having other people's arms do what his arms don't do right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's stuff he's, every day he's having people do, he's done before. And uh, a lot of times he's doing today, it's just, he ain't on camera. So whenever I come down here, I like to film Donnie doing some stuff just so people know. You see how it's coming right off? Mm -hmm. That's why they call it Magic Eraser, people. It's magical. Well, everybody thinks that we don't do anything, but I've done everything that can be done so far in a house or mm -hmm. in one of these trailers myself. Mm -hmm. And I have to teach other people how to do it. <laughs> yep. Because I can't do it all. Yep. I mean, I'm going to kill myself trying to do every little piece. Yep. So, yes, I do have two guys working for me. Yes, they do a lot. But, Donnie, surely you don't get up on the roof. Oh, yeah. I've been up on the roof. There's plenty of videos on our on our channel of being up on the roof. As a matter of fact, I was on he was on the roof yesterday. The, uh, <laughs> if I send somebody up on the roof, I won't send nobody to do anything I won't do myself. Mm -hmm. And 90% of the times, I got to make sure it's safe before they can even do it. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want nobody getting hurt on my watch. So, mm -hmm. I have to do it. So, like, some of the buildings we work on, um, I won't even, uh, I won't even let the guys get up there to look at it until we get everything underneath it where I can visually inspect everything and let them up. Make sure that they're not going to fall through the roof or there's going to be a problem. Yeah, we done did that two or three different times. And uh, I've been, I've been up on everything. I've done everything. Uh, I've scrubbed the commodes. I've, I've, uh, I've done every worst job that you can do mm -hmm. because that's that's what you know. You've got to do that to be the boss man to know what the hell not to do. Yeah, doesn't mean they're not better at some of it. Like we've we've laid brick and block before, but yeah, they're I mean, better they're, at it. Yeah, they're a lot better than I am. So stuff like that. But I understand the concept of it. Yeah. So, all right, we're gonna keep working the door. Brandon, what is this? Coat 10. I thought it was 11. Oh, coat 11, I missed one. We're getting it on thick, people. Real thick. You can still see, you know what I mean? You can see the patch. Might need another 10 coats or so, Donnie. Well, you know what's gonna happen. They're gonna paint it their own color anyway. I'm gonna paint this thing yellow if it keeps going. Yeah. We can paint it back orange. Yep. That might fix it. Some of that bare uh, uh, stuff that's not like this is one coat. I got some at the house like that. This says high, high and white. It's hiding all right. It's hiding from men in white. Yeah. We may have we have may have found bears match. Well, it's glidden match too because they used it first. Yeah, the first cup was glidden, then we ran out. So we went and got some bear. The ceiling looks really good though. I don't know what the oh it's because it was never orange, I guess. Well, this would be bad if it was all painted orange. Yeah, but since we had to patch it. I'd leave that off color. You know, this wall was never painted on. Yeah. This was just the, the it was gray. nasty. Yeah, it was gray. That's where we sprayed the stuff on there and it turned black before we off the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was where the dog was living. Poor thing. We hope it was a 
Yeah. Hey, the orange. You know, we're we're dog getting the orange, but I think what that was. Uh -huh. I've been thinking about it for six months, you know, since we owned this place. Mm -hmm. I think it was Clemson Tigers. I was thinking that too. It was down that way. They may have been Cle big Clemson fans. It might have been what that orange was. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know that much about it, but it might have been off the shape too. I think maybe, you know. Now, Donnie, uh, you missed, uh, you, you kind of, uh, I mean, I, I hate to bring this up, but. Did I miss a hole? Let me get another hole on. Hang on, let me get it one more time. You, you, you're, you're not supposed to do that, Donnie. Well, look. You're not supposed to do that. The way I see it is, that thing is like, uh, what are they, a dollar a piece now? Something like that. I get the Leviton brand, which is made in the USA. So it's probably about a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty a piece. Now, how much time is it going to take me to stop and take that thing off and paint all the way around it, clean all that stuff up? Might as well just go over and replace it. You know, my thinking is I don't trust the electrical outlet in a freaking mobile home. So I'm going to replace every one of them with brand new ones. Look, he did it again. Look, look what he does. I'm putting brand new ones in, folks. We're not using, leaving these old ones in there. Whenever we were kids, <laughs> we, um... Remember when I stuck a key in that one behind the, uh, behind the couch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we were kids, we moved into a mobile home at one point. And our dad, <laughs> you know, he didn't want to move into a mobile home, but it was a real nice one, big old double wide. <laughs> he said, well, you know, normally I wouldn't live in a mobile home, but... This one's different. It's a big double wide. It's pretty nice inside. And you know, back in the day, they used to have problems where a tornado would tear them off the ground and they would burn to the ground because the electrical wasn't any good in them. But I think they fixed all that. So for about a year, we lived in a mobile home, a, a double wide. That was, uh, that was in the early 90s, wasn't it? Yeah. And that would have been about 1992. And uh, I think we purchased that one, didn't we? Yep. Mm -hmm. Big old double wide. And Boy, it was nice. And it was up off the ground about 15 feet in the ground. It was in a nice uh, uh, mobile home community that had a uh, pool. We used to go down the pool all the time. I did get paid to uh, dive in that pool with crawdads in that dirt. Not crawdads. What baby crow? Tadpoles. Tadpoles all in. To go down and unstop the drain. Water was green. So we could get it ready for the summer. They paid me $100 to get in that thing. <laughs> I said, oh yeah, I was about, I must have been about 14 or 15. <laughs> 13, 14, 15. $100 was a lot of damn money. <laughs> Hell yeah. No problem. It was like watching the uh, swamp thing. Yeah, swamp people. The, I was like Shelby. The, the, <laughs> The, the, the uh, pool they had let go to hell, and so it had a bunch of green water in it. And so somebody needed to unclog the drain so they could drain a lot of it out. And then after they did, we painted the pool. The, I remember that too. The walls of the pool, we painted it and cleaned it all up. And then they put the new water in it with the new uh, chemicals and all that stuff. So it worked out pretty good. That was when we lived in a mobile home. I was Shelby Stanger before Shelby Stanger was on TV. That's true, yeah. But we did live in one. But hell, we lived all kinds of places. Donnie's running right through it. I live in one now. They rain through it. Last week it was raining in here. Boy, you can hear it when it's raining. That makes you go to sleep better. Yeah, that's true. Everybody likes it when rain hits 10 and seal, but nobody says they don't want to live in a mobile home. I know, I don't get it. I don't get it either. Everybody must have been living in something today and know that they, they like the sound of it. Yep. And maybe like somebody bullshitting or someone. You're not supposed to say that in the videos, Donnie, is it? Oh. I'll edit it out. Edit it. Hey, y'all, we're touching up the last of the paint in this room here. It's about the sixth coat, I believe. Sixth or seventh going over that orange. That orange was rough to get over, but we've got it. And uh, we're gonna, he's trimming it out now, getting the spots that we didn't get with the roller. So we'll get it knocked out and uh, 
then we'll uh, start putting the trim on the ceiling and uh, start putting flooring in, I hope. So we should know something here shortly. And the trim's going up. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, it begins here. We're uh, starting to put flooring in. He's working on it now. We're uh, going to knock this one out. Put this flooring in. We've got a little bit here. We've got flooring to do. So we're going to finish uh, putting the floor down today in this one. Should help it a little bit. Make it look a little better. And he's over there cutting a piece. Getting ready to cut a piece. So basically you lay this stuff down with a little air gap along the wall. So it'll be nice and straight. And uh, then you go to cutting and installing. cut it and break it so it'll be uh, it'll be nice when it gets a few of them down and we'll see what it's going to look like in here and you put it down here you leave a little bit off the wall and then you go back at it again and basically uh, you'll get a pattern going here every fifth or sixth one will be the same and you'll have a pattern and you'll be good to go it goes down pretty quick this does have padding on the back and all that good stuff and it locks on all sides all that Will be good for sure. But we're getting there. I'm trying to get that lock. Maybe three come together, and it's going to be a little harder than the lock. I'm going to get my piece of wood he can beat on, keep it flat, so he don't break the lock. Basically, the first couple with it out there floating, uh, you got to get them lines perfect. What he's trying to do is right here, where it's off a little bit, he's trying to get that line up perfectly. You can see there where it's off just ever so slightly. He's trying to get that thing lined up perfectly. You get it lined perfect, it'll lock into itself. So, he's going to have to work that one too because it's a little off.
just like that, it's right through the closet. Good thing about a remodel, you can do just about anything that you want. Hey y'all, we're still working on it here. We don't have a lot of flooring left. So all of our scrap, we're just taking it and putting it back at the beginning over here and rolling with it. And um, whatever we end up with, we end up with. We're trying to keep our trash to a minimum here. We, uh, we have not had any waste so far at all. You know, if you start with a half piece, you'd have done had some waste because you would have got there and then screwed you all up. So we're not, uh, waste not, want not. So we're not uh, wasting any. We've got uh, one half piece here left over from the last job we did. We're trying to figure out how to use this. Um, we might figure something out, but I doubt it. it. Looks like it's the wrong side. That's the start piece. So I don't think we can do anything with it. But if we do come up with a way to use it, you bet you we will. But it's sitting there waiting on us. Trying to keep everything to the minimum. I'm trying to do it in three boxes. I don't think I can, but I'm going to try it. Um, 126 square feet is what I got pinned at. I might be a little off on that, but that's what I think it is. So, that's what we're working with. slide it back and forth. That's when he knows it's locked. You. Slowly but surely, but it's getting there. It's getting closer. Maybe open the door. Closer and closer. <sighs> getting closer. We got those three pieces there that are. Uh, 
We got bad spots in the locks, so we're gonna get them in the closet over there. So we'll get them used up. We got another case. In. So fix them open now. That should get as well on the way here. Maybe we necessitate the trace for a key for Qatar. Ronnie. Yeah. Have you tried buying base baseboard lately? Yeah, I bought that stuff last night. That is high. <laughs> it's extremely high nowadays. The people watching this, know. this stuff is a fortune. The uh, we want plastic. We like the plastic. We put plastic floor. We put plastic baseboards. We want caulk bottom. Of it. We want everything waterproof at the base. Yep. Show them. Show them the, the cool thing about it now. Show them what we found out about it. What's stamped on it? Ah, uh, look right here, y'all. You ain't gonna believe it. Uh, Made in USA. Can you move mm. up? Right there's a timestamp. Pretty close. Well, that, that was a year off. <laughs> but uh, it uh, the plastic stuff it works really good because you can get a, you, I mean you can literally get it soaked and it won't screw it up. So basically, these mobile homes are horrible. If you get any water underneath them, then in the floor, they'll rot out um, real quick. Now. We put plywood down and we put all this stuff down to try to prevent it. And we put this plastic floor down. So we're putting well, it's, it's really vinyl. It's vinyl. So same stuff, but uh, it's waterproof. So everything we put on the floor, we try to put waterproof down. So this one, the walls was tore up a little bit higher than normal. So instead of going around cutting all the drywall and replacing all the, the bottom two inches of drywall, we decided we'd go with this. Also, we are not playing the game of trying to match all of the wood grain. Yeah. There's just too many, folks. You can't do it. On these mobile homes, they use like, it's like every year they change the pattern of the wood grain. So you just, very hard to match it. So we're not even trying. The uh, We're just trying to make it clean. This wood grain... Waiting on that solid. And we're back. <laughs> this wood grain, um, we bought it because the regular plastic or PVC was twice as much. Yeah. So uh, we went with this wood grain. Normally we go with white, but. But they have made it where white plastic is expensive because that's what everybody wants. So a lot of people are going to say, well, I don't want the, the 90s looking wood grain. So it's cheaper, even though it's brand new. Yeah, so we are. Uh, Crazy. We opted for the cheap stuff, but it still looks good. It still, it does what we want it to do. It's gonna serve our purpose well and. Uh, it matches the ceiling too. It matches the ceiling. <laughs> Can you look at both of them at the same time? Yep. See there? Oh well, that's what we thought. Well, Donnie. Yeah. We have got this bedroom finished. Woohoo! Finito, the very first bedroom. First bedroom. Now, tell them what we did in here. Now, this is, there was, it looked like there was a bed over there or something. There's a bed in this corner, but 
remember this window was knocked out. It was out for a long time. And there was a hundred shotgun shells there underneath when I picked it up. Mm-hmm. I drove it down the road, without that window in there to get this thing to air out. They blew the, the doors off the hinges. Mm-hmm. Um, I had to put this door back on the hinges. Had to fix it. Nice and clean, everything painted up. Painted up, put a new window in there, obviously. New light fixture. Open, new light fixture. New paint everywhere. New trim up top. Um, new floor. I replaced, uh, I think I put about two or three sheets of plywood in this floor. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, replaced all the receptacles, the receptacle covers. All this drywall's been replaced here. Mm -hmm. I replaced all that. We replaced half sheets over here. Now why'd you do so much work on this old mobile home? Why not? <laughs> I mean, exactly. Everything's worth something. Look at that one right there. I missed him. Well, now he seems angry. Uh, Didn't miss him that time. He seems like he's ready to sting one of us. Our video just got better. Okay. <laughs> The uh, air conditioning vent, this thing, uh, we had to uh, cut all those back out that was covered up. Remember, this thing had two sheets of plywood over all of them. Oh, yep. I had to take the plywood off, and then we got to the base. The base and the base was all screwed up, so we took all that out, fixed all of this. All of this was rotted where the rainwater had just been coming in. So we got it all finished, and it turned out pretty nice. Here we are. Yep, here we go. So there you go. Looks good, Donnie. One room down, many more to go. Y'all, if you like the channel, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up for filming it, and we'll catch you on the next one.